So we're out and about in the eastern suburbs this weekend, finding out why it is such a popular place to live and why it's so tightly held. We've had young executive couples wanting to basically live in the most premium of suburbs. We've had young families which have wanted to capitalise on the ultimate in school zoning to secure their family's future. Look at all the neighbours, they want to know who's moving into the street. One of the many attractions for living in the eastern suburbs is the fantastic schooling that's on offer. The iconic Seymour College is right on the doorstep of St George's. Schooling would definitely be number one. Definitely at the top of the list it would be schooling. A lot of young families are attracted to the schools that the Burnside area offers. Um, I think just the facilities, whether it be coffee shops, boutiques, um, it's all at your fingertips. Uh, restaurants, banking, it's, it's brilliant from that point of view. Number two would definitely be Burnside Village. That has an array of boutique shops and also the close proximity to the CBD. Uh, and also it's only about 11 minutes to the city of Adelaide. And probably the parks, there's lots of leafy tree-lined streets and, and a number of parks in which you can go with your friends and family. I love just waking up and taking the dog for a walk. There's beautiful parks around here and the streets are beautiful, so getting a coffee and relaxing really. Um, from young executives, um, we've also had young families wanting to capitalise on the school zones in which this property sits. Um, and we've also had a lot of retirees. Um, also, a very strong number of parties have been coming through this property, um, trying to steal ideas, I guess you would say, as they're looking at building. And look at the, uh, the character cottages, you know, and the character homes. I mean, why wouldn't you want to be here? The eastern suburbs are just so beautiful.